You want to have meat that's pull apart? Watch this video and I'm going to show you how it's done. Hello. Today we are going to do a brisket smoked style and you're thinking to yourself, what on God's earth is smoked style brisket? It is a brisket using the same methodology as you would in a traditional smoker, but we're doing it in the oven. What? In an oven, yes. I am going to show you exactly what you need to do, how long you need to do it for, and how you get to have the same delicious taste, flavor, bark as a smoker. The only thing that you're going to miss is the smoke flavor. And with that, let's get into it. Okay, so while we're doing this, before you start any of your preparation, preheat your oven to uh, 275. You will decrease your oven to 225 when you get ready to put the meat in, but you want the oven to be a little bit warmer before you put the meat in, so preheat it to 275. The reason why you cut the fat away, no amount of cooking is going to get rid of that amount of fat. Use a extremely sharp knife. If you don't have a sharp knife, you are going to seriously struggle in getting rid of the fat. Mayonnaise, you're thinking, what are you doing with mayonnaise? We are going to put mayonnaise onto the meat. The reason why we put mayo onto the meat is that it actually seals it. It does not change the flavor, it does not change the taste. It does, you can't even taste the mayo when the meat is cooked. What it does do, it seals the meat and it uh, retains the moisture in the piece of meat. And you do this on both the sides, just or on both sides, just in case you were wondering. Yep. Okay, so for the rub, what I have done is I've used this barbecue rub as the base. You can use whatever barbecue rub you want to. I have added a half a cup of coarse black pepper as well as a half a cup of brown sugar. That will enhance the flavor and it'll give you the caramelization to assist in the bark. A good generous sprinkle. Okay guys I've just weighed it it is 8.7 pounds that's what the total cooking volume is going to be. I forgot to tell you tray make sure you have your meat in a foil dish on a tray because of the weight if you do not put this onto a tray it's going to do this and you are going to be in trouble. Uh, so put it into a tray, it has no impact on the bake, it has no impact on anything except making your life five gazillion times easy. Okay so we preheated the oven to 275, decrease the oven now to 225. If you keep it at 275 you're in big trouble. Let's get the show on the road.
share and subscribe so you don't miss another one of these weird and wonderful wacky episodes. This is looking flipping amazing. The bark on it looks incredible. The smell is to die for. Time to cut this and see what it's about. How awesome is that bark? For a piece of meat that is meant to be on a smoker that looks like this, it is unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. This is Look at the meat. You can actually see the juices and how it is actually just beyond remarkable. Truly awesome. Mm. So if you guys are wondering if this is pull apart, it is pull apart. Look how juicy, delicious. Guys, that is pull apart piece of meat at its best. Seriously amazing. Look at that. Just awesome. Mm. Mm. I am speechless. Okay, so let's just recap on what we did. 8.7 pound piece of meat. We trimmed up and made sure that we got rid of the excess fat, spiced it up. In the description below, I'll have all the details of the spice and what we did. We put it into the preheated oven. The oven was preheated at 275. As we put the meat into the oven, we dropped it, the temp down to 225, and it stayed in the foil dish where we turned it every hour, hour and a half, um, and it stayed like that for around 10 hours. At the six hour mark, we took our tin of beer and we poured beer over it and at the 10 hour mark we put foil on top of it and it just rested in the foil for another two hours and we've got to this point this meat is delicious give it a go you don't need a fancy smoker you don't need anything except a foil dish a little bit of time patience use it put it in with rice have potatoes, whatever other side dishes you want. This is truly remarkable. Pull apart meat. Scrumptious, delicious, and your friends and family will be amazed. And on that note, catch you guys on the next one.